All right, hey there, YouTube. Uh, apologize if you guys hear a dog barking. That's my neighbor's dog. He barks all day whenever it's out. Um, but anyway, uh, you guys might have seen this. Let me mention that I got one of these or showing you that I have one. This is the uh, trailhead. Was it? Yeah, trailhead off road uh, cowl intake. We're going to put it on the gold Jeep because we're still waiting on parts for this blue Jeep. Uh, I guess they had some templates that you could print out online, but I decided to make my own. And I made this one first by uh, slipping it over these little tabs. You can't see them, but there's these little tabs. And I slipped it over and then I traced out this part and then uh, cut the majority of it out and then laid it on the back side. To where it would uh, just out, like kind of overlap this edge and then have kind of a gap down towards this bottom one and then fit inside of there and then I traced that and then uh, found something a circle that was bigger than the base of this filter and then I laid it over and then uh, traced it out and uh, I just used this one first uh, I think it will work just having a circle. I put some RTV around this too. That's why it looks ugly. Because I was thinking that maybe I could seal it up a little bit. Uh, keep some of the hot air from coming from the engine compartment and getting in there. Uh, but I don't think it did any good because this surface here doesn't really contact anything. So that was all for nothing. But it will at least still be hidden on the back side. You won't even notice it. But I think this circle will work. Um, got it cut our, out already. Because um, it's pretty boring watching somebody cut out stuff. And there's pl plenty of videos that show how to do it. But I'm just showing a little bit how I did it. And how I cut it out is um, I pulled this back. I stuck something in between here to hold the wiring harness back and I used the uh, rotary tool with the disc uh, and cut it out and I tried to uh, drill it and then use a rotary bit to cut it out but then the rotary bit that I was using was a straight bit it decided to uh, liberate itself from the uh, tool and then drop down inside I, I retrieved it but uh, I just decided to go with the disc and cut it out and then I used a rotary bit to kind of clean it up and then a sanding around, you know, sanding uh, thing to clean it up, keep, you know, knock down the sharp edges. And then I test fitted the, the uh, filter and I think it'll just fit in there. I'll have to press down a little bit on the back to slide it up in there, but I'm waiting on this paint. As you can see, it's still wet down in there. Um... I'm waiting for it to dry, so I'll probably give it another hour, and then I'll come out and install it, and then uh, we'll get rid of the air box, and then I can work on what I'm going to do over there, and then we'll, maybe I'll talk about that later. But let's let that dry, and then we'll uh, get this thing uh, installed. Um, so yeah, it came with screws, so that's good. Self tappers, so I don't have to worry about finding any of those. Uh, it's got both these clamps for the other end. I already got the clamp on there, tightened up. And oh, excuse me, I think it'll uh, I think it'll work. So I'll bring you guys back when we uh, are able to put it in there. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, went ahead and installed this thing. Um, there's plenty of videos out there that show you how to do this, uh, so I didn't do a how-to because uh, I figured you guys could go watch one of them, and they're all pretty much the same, uh, you know, good videos. But uh, I just wanted to show you kind of what I did before, and then how it looks after, and then my thoughts. Uh, so first thing is I still have the the hole in there. After I showed you guys, I had to go in there and I did ream it out a little bit up towards the top. 
and then I took some channel locks and bent up the edge, you know, all around it uh, to where it was nice and flat to where this filter slipped up in there a lot easier. It was still really tight and I did tear up the pre-filter a little bit, but uh, it still works. Um, I might make my own box, you know, this piece because I feel that it should be moved this way more and I don't know why it's not on this Jeep um, so I'm probably make my own uh, because that side isn't close enough and sucked up against the firewall enough the top screw is okay it, it pulled it in but the bottom screw stripped out because it was just too far away and, and tore through and stripped out so I'll probably make my own box you know uh, this pipe didn't seem like it was long enough on this Jeep for some reason so that's probably another reason why I'll, I'll make my own thing and I'll, I'll probably open it all the way up and then just weld in something kind of like this with the plate on the back side that'll come out maybe but uh, We'll wait to do that. When I started this thing up, though, after doing all this, uh, it was a little bit loud. But then after what, you know, not soon after, it, it quieted way down uh, after it kind of heated up. Uh, but I couldn't hear it after that because I have an exhaust leak and you know, this thing sounds like a V8 sometimes uh, because of that. So I'll have to do exhaust and... I'll do the intake and all that good stuff, uh, upgrade cooling stuff, power steering, brakes, all that stuff. But what I got going on right here, uh, I had to move the uh, computer because it was like right in here and was in the way of this battery that I'm mocking up. Uh, so I think actually that's a good place. So if I move that fuse block down there and then uh, this will drop down because uh, it won't be there anymore and then I can make a bracket that I can mount it probably like straight down from there and I'll have enough room on the back side for uh, the uh, you know to fill the mass cylinder and stuff and then it'll be removable so if I don't get to the brakes before then uh, I'll be able to just pop this whole thing out and then move it out of the way and, and do that. Uh, but I think that'll be a good place. It'll, I think it'll be plenty cool enough. Uh, my voice is probably shaking because the, the wind's blowing a little bit on me. It's nice and chilly. But uh, I'll probably move the fuse block and stuff right in here. Uh, in this area, I'm gonna probably mount the, uh, the coolant overflow may eventually even make my own like aluminum tank but we'll just move that over here for now uh, and then uh, yeah so got something done on this Jeep so I just wanted to show you how it looks and then kind of what I did in the other part and then uh, my thoughts but I think I will eventually make make something different than uh, what they have because uh, if this thing was longer this whole thing probably would have slid over but uh, it just it's it's like barely in I mean there's enough that that clamp is you know kind of is just a little past right there where the end of my thumb is uh, to where the clamp will hold it in there so but I'll use that piece and then just make my own box. So, uh, but yeah, that's it uh, for this video. Uh, stay tuned uh, for the rest of the stuff that's going to get done to this thing. Like mount this thing in the correct spot. And then, uh, you know, upgrading a lot of these vacuum lines because they're a lot of them are toast. But, uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that, and then we'll uh, we'll finish doing some of this stuff, and then we'll hopefully get that thing done this next week. So uh, till next time, y'all take care now.